Okay, guys, hey, Jay from Elite Ammunition here. Hey, I want to touch on something real fast. Uh, we've got some new customers here uh, that aren't used to uh, the S4M and the Molly coat that we put on it. Uh, that's where the M comes from in S4M, is Molly coat. And um, Molly also, the M stands for messy. Molly coat is messy. Um, there are a couple ways that people try to deal with it. Uh, one is like on our protector twos, we use the Nosler Ballistic Silver Tip 50 grain Molly coated bullet. Now, what they do is they put like a Carnuba wax on the bullet uh, to try and keep the Molly from coming off. And it really doesn't do a very good job of it either. Uh, instead of being a, pow a, a powder molly coat getting all over everything, it's like a grease. Uh, it turns into like a black grease that gets all over everything. So it's still just as messy. Um, had a couple customers. I had one customer tell me that this is not what molly coat is supposed to look like. And he included pictures of this spray on molly coat, like Brownells and Midwells, uh, Midway sell. Um, I tried that stuff years ago. See, I don't believe what just the, the can says. All right, that spray on stuff is crap. It doesn't work. Um, I spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rounds sending molly coated S4 bullets through a pressure chamber and a chronograph. All right, the spray on stuff is so thin that most of it scrapes off when you seat the bullet and it ends up in your seating die. There's hardly any molly deposited on your barrels at all to affect velocities or pressures or anything. It looks pretty and that's it. Okay. The molly coat that we put on our bullets isn't there for pretty, it's not there for show, all right? It's there to work. And I developed a vibratory, I used vibratory impacting um, to put the molly coat on our bullets. And I put it on very thick and that's intentional because I actually wanted to do something. Uh, when you shoot our S4Ms through your barrel, uh, you will actually see a velocity uh, increase and change in uh, the next 10 or so bullets that you shoot after it uh, they don't have molly on it because it does leave the molly in your barrel but again guys if it looks thick it looks motley um, that's exactly what it's supposed to look like uh, I put this molly coat on the bullets for performance not for looks and uh, sometimes people get the two confused uh, uh, when they use the spray on stuff uh, again, um, like I said, I ran all this stuff through pressure barrels, and I did this years ago. And um, uh, I put together nice uh, hard data showing exactly what the performance increases were of the spray on molly coat, uh, which is why I don't use it. Uh, it would be easier. Uh, you can talk to, uh, if you ever get a chance to talk to Brian, the guy, or Ryan, the guy running the camera behind you, uh, behind right now. Uh, he'll tell you he'd much rather have to spray the stuff on than have to go through what we go through to put the coating on these bullets. Um, but again, uh, they're motley. They're supposed to look motley. Oh, and by the way, copper oxidized. It can't oxidize, but it does not rust. Uh, sometimes you'll see copper peeking through the uh, molly coat a little bit. It's perfectly normal. It happens with spray on stuff also. Um, again, supposed to be messy. Supposed to look motley. Supposed to be nice and thick. Uh, you can actually smear it off on your hands. But that's what I want. I want it to come off. But otherwise, if it didn't come off, what's the point of the molly coat? That's a good one. Uh, Follow-up questions. Follow in the comment section. If the molly coat doesn't come off the bullets, like the spray on one or whatever, or the molly coat is so thin it doesn't come off the bullets, then what's the point of having it on the bullets? Okay, guys? Have a good one.